Hey guys, this is Vanderson from Mandalab VFX. Welcome to the Procedural Trees course in Houdini. In this training, you are learning how to create detailed, stylized trees using Houdini procedural workflows. This course is designed for artists and developers seeking for enhance their skills in VFX, games, and animated environments. This is the project that I work in Houdini and create some tools to create the, the procedural trees here. Let's dive inside of each node and see what is happening. First of all, I create around 8 tools to control the look and the style of the, the procedural tree. Here, just a trunk. Here, this tool created the branches. This other tool here created the, the small branches. Let's see with shading here from the beginning. Just the trunk and the root. Add some branches. Add here a little branches for each big branch. Just a clean up from the geometry here and add some leaves. This tool here created the rock and the grass. This tool here just for save the cache. That tool here create the tree simulation and a final cleanup to remove the the unnecessary attributes and groups. Let's dive inside of the trunk. First I created the line. Resample a little bit. Remap some attributes. Create some noise. Align it to the word here. Create some attributes in Vex. Here I created some points to scatter the root. Created the lines for the root. Resample. Create some attributes. Add some noise. And down here we have the root spline and the trunk spline. We merge it together. Create a sweep to make the thickness. This is the output of the geometry and this is the output of the spline. The branch too is not is not big. Here we feed the spline, create some operations here like just keep the trunk, define where the branches we start, scatter some points, delete some attributes, goes change it a little bit in create some attributes in, in, in Vex and copy some lines to the trunk. Apply some noise here for each branch. Adjust the, the noise of the branch and make some, some bend. Like this. Create more noise along the, the core view. And that's the final result of the branches. Here we have the output of the branch, just the splines and just the geometry. Here in the sub branches, let's see the output for the tree geometry. We add some geometry in the branches here. For the splines, just the branch splines. In the tree spline here, let's see from the beginning. In the beginning of the network, what is important here is just the branch spline and the trunk. For each spline, we add some small branches here and copy some lines to that. Add some noise create some vac attribute in vex, the p-scale, merge with the big branches, and that's the result of the points. These points we need to extend some, some leaves. This is the output of the spline and the output of the geometry. Here is the tree polish. We are going to create the leaves and clean up a little bit the geometry. 
let's see the result here. The result of the splines are the same. The result of the leaf points are the same. Here in the middle, the result is the tree geometry with some leaves. Let's see the, from the beginning what I did. Here I create, I trace some small leaves using a mask. I have diff four different leaves. We merge it together. Apply some UVs here. And separate each leaf with the texture applied. Actually four leaves. To be stenciled in that point that are created before. Here are the points. Leaf points. Create some operations here, like unpack. Create a vex parent. Delete some attributes. Apply some p-scale. And for each point, we copy a scatter, a sphere scatter of points here. Randomize the p-scale a little bit. Create some attributes in vex. And copy each leaf for each point. Make some difference. Let's change the background here. That's the just the leaves with variation. At the trunk here, we apply some displacement and remeshing to the trunk and branch geometry. Let's see what is happening here. Subdivide, convert this to VDB. Smooth a little bit, convert back to geometry and transfer an attribute called the tree displacement mount. Because we are going to need the very high displacement in the trunk and very small displacement mount in the branches. And apply the noise. That's the noise of the tree. Convert back to geometry. Clean up the geometry. Clip the bottom here. And create a group. That's the result of the trunk, the geometry. Let's see the result of the... Here are the small branch that support each leaf. Just import that point here to instance like a small geometry, like a small branch. Let's see here. That's the result of one operation, like a small multiple branches. And that's the result of the copy for each point. Convert this to a sweep. Clean up some attributes, make normals, and create the name for the branches. That's the result of this operation here. Just displacement, small branches for the, the leaves, and the leaves itself. In the rock and grass operation, let's dive inside here. To define the, the grass, that's the result of the grass. We need the silhouette and the grass. That's the ground and that's the grass here. Let's see the operations from the beginning. We import the tree geometry. Just split the geometry, we just need the trunk. Clip the bottom and make some operations here just to create the silhouette from the base. From the silhouette, we scatter some points. Create a small chunk of points and scatter some grass geometry for each point here. The grass geometry are simple grid with some band and colors here. Copy each grass blade for the points and another chunk of grass here. That's the out of the grass. Let's see the rocks. 
the people. That's the result of the people here. We just import the same silhouette. Work in the area for scatter these pebbles. That's the scatter area for the pebbles. Scatter some points. And copy a pebble for each point. The pebble inside. Let's see what is happening here. Just a tube. With some noise after the tube. Let's see with flat shading. The first operation we apply some clip. The second, second operation we apply another set of clip. Make some make some geometry modification here. Resample, remesh. And we have the base people here. That's the result of the, each people. And send the geometry, the glass, back to another another tool. That's the result. The points we send we send this to another tool, the subsequent tool. That's the geometry operation that we're creating the in this node. And the splines. The three I/O are simple file cache here. The input just in spline, geometry endpoints, just create the cache and split the cache again to the subsequent tool, what is the tree simulation. That's the, the node we are going to create the spline simulation here and the grass simulation. Let's dive inside here. First of all, we import the spline. Just separate what you need here. Fill some operations and create a vellum hair here for all the tree. That's the result of the vellum simulation. Inside the vellum, we just have a pop force here, a simple pop force. And apply this back to the spline. That's the mini branch simulation. Let's see what is happening here. First, we need to import the geometry. Just keep the lifts. Actually, we need to go here. The grass. Let's simulate the apply the simulation of the grass. Attribute swap, assemble. For each, for each glass blade, we are just to create the spline. And that's the result of the grass simulation. The same stuff, the vellum solver with a pop force inside. That's the result of the grass. Animate the grass. Let's see. Now let's see how, how we created the the trunk simulation. Let's see. It's here. The trunk. Apply some UVs. And here we're going to deform by that spline simulation here. The tree is deformed. Receive the deform from that spline. And you are going to to apply back these to this is small branches we apply the same the point the former for the the splines to the small branches here and apply back this to the leaves too that's the result of the leaf of the wire simulation that's the result of the simulation with the leaves. The wire simulation applied to the leaves. And the final here. We have all the geometry with the simulation applied. And the last node, that's the tree cleanup. Just remove you know, so the attributes. Let's see here. Adjust the, the, the position of the tree to the centroid. 
and remove the unnecessary attributes here. For the rendering, just import the tree. We don't need the ground. Apply some renders geometry settings here, like a displacement. That's the ground. The shaders are pretty simple. Mini branch is just a color shader. Leaves, we're going to use some texture right here. Let's see the, the aspect of the texturing. That's the result of the texturing. The grass just a, a color shader. The people just a color shader too. With some max on noise displacement. The trunk. The trunk just a max on noise applied to the shader. And apply with some ambient occlusion too. The ground, that's the little node. The ground just a max on noise applied to the ground. Let's see the result of the rendering. Let's see the camera. That's the result of the rendering. With the shaders applied, the displacement at the trunk, some cool color of the, of the leaf is here. The final render and animation. Thank you guys. See you at my next video.